Hello, my name is Paul Kononoff. I'm an associate professor of dairy nutrition at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. And uh, one of the major keys in feeding dairy cattle is meeting the needs of metabolizable protein. Metabolizable protein is made up of both rumen microbial protein and rumen undegradable protein. And uh, a major key in feeding dairy cattle is driving metabolizable protein through feeding the rumen and feeding the, the rumen microorganisms. And those organisms can supply greater than 50% of the metabolizable protein to dairy cattle. And uh, really keys to driving microbial protein and microbial fermentation are maintaining and uh, increasing dry matter intake in the lactating dairy cow, as well as uh, feeding, feeding feeds that are highly digestible. And uh, those microorganisms need uh, large amounts of energy, which they may get through digestible starch and digestible fiber. And so microbial protein is a, is a major key in influencing metabolizable protein. The other uh, key in maintaining and, and increasing metabolizable protein for dairy cattle is to feed feeds that are high in rumen undegradable protein. Rumen undegradable protein is that feed which is consumed by animals but bypasses the rumen fermentation and directly supplies uh, metabolizable protein to the dairy cattle. And uh, in general, we think of bookend feeds for, um, for rumen undegradable protein content. Uh, one feed that is high in RUP or rumen undegradable protein is blood meal compared to a feed which is low in RUP or rumen undegradable protein, that being soybean meal. Um, unfortunately, these feeds, in addition to being very different, also vary uh, in their RUP content uh, depending upon source. And so uh, it is very important that these feeds are tested for RUP content through a number of in vitro assays that are available. A big challenge for dairy nutritionists is to find the match of both rumen degradable protein and rumen undegradable protein. The rumen degradable protein is very important for the rumen microorganisms, whereas the rumen undegradable proteins directly supplies amino acids uh, to the small intestine, which then may be ultimately available for amino acid synthesis in the mammary gland and ultimately milk protein synthesis. And so in addition to supplying protein to, to dairy cattle, even more specifically, uh, metabolizable protein supplies amino acids. And research conducted uh, throughout the United States and other parts of the world has uh, specifically driven and uh, tried to understand which amino acids are limiting in dairy cattle diets. And in the United States, we're, uh, we, we rely on, on soybean meal, uh, and soy products, uh, frequently we may see uh, methionine limiting in uh, dairy cattle diets. And there's been um, a lot of research showing that methionine has to be uh, supplied at about 2.2% of the metabolizable protein to maintain uh, the amino acid and methionine needs of dairy cattle. Um, in addition, uh, in cases where corn proteins are heavily relied upon to supply metabolizable protein, lysine may become limiting. And research has shown that lysine uh, should be supplied at around uh, 7, 7.2% of the metabolizable uh, protein. Recent research conducted at uh, Penn State University has evaluated histidine and rations which are high in uh, grasses uh, may actually uh, supply limited amounts of histidine, and those diets may be limiting in uh, histidine. In addition, rumen microorganisms, despite the fact that they are a very rich supply of amino acids and metabolizable, pro metabolizable protein, they're also low in histidine. And so rations that really require uh, rumen microorganisms to supply metabolizable protein may also be limiting in histidine. And this research has shown that uh, cows indeed, in addition to methionine and lysine, may also be limited in histidine. And uh, formulating diets for uh, approximately 2.2% of the metabolizable protein in histidine is important for maintaining 
uh, milk protein. And so, in general, metabolizable protein comes from microbial protein and ruminant degradable protein. And looking at not only the individual feeds for supplying RUP, but also understanding what factors affects uh, microbial protein are important for meeting the needs of a uh, lactating dairy cow and her ability to produce milk protein. And so when uh, dairy nutritionists uh, go to the field and make attempts to balance the need for uh, metabolizable protein, uh, factors that influence the supply of rumen undegradable protein and uh, rumen microbial protein are critical for meeting her needs.